Hey what's up guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can operate your laptop or computer using your mobile phone and vice versa. Using this connection you will get a full access of control of a remote device from anywhere in this world. In fact you will also be able to share your files using this remote connection. So be with me till the end. First of all, we need to install an application in both devices called AnyDesk. Using such program, you can operate your home or office computer from anywhere of this world. And this connection is secure and it's still free for personal use and student. Now let's open this site, AnyDesk.com. You can download it directly from here. And there is no sign up required as I am using Windows PC so it's showing me Windows download option by default. But if you click on this download menu then you will find the download options for almost all operating systems. So choose your preferable one and click on download. If you intend to use this program professionally for your business then I will recommend you to buy any of this plan. Though for personal use, it's absolutely free. Well, our download is completed. Let's run this exe file. As you see, this program is opened instantly. Actually, it doesn't need installation for a test use. But if you want to use it frequently, then you should install it. As you can see, if I try to close it, here appears a new dialog box. Would you like to install any desk? Anyways, let's install it from main page. Click on install any desk here. Now click on accept and install. Well, our desktop app is installed. Now let's install the mobile app. As I am using an Android phone, so I need to open Google Play Store. Search any desk here. You may check the about section for more information if you want. Anyways, let's install this app. Now open this app and you will get a notification about a plugin. This is really important for controlling your device remotely. So you must install it. Well, it's done. Now open the app in both devices. Once you open the app, you will see your device already has an AnyDesk ID assigned to it. But we need to activate this plugin now. Click on OK on your mobile. You can also open this accessibility option from your mobile settings. Now we need to find out the AnyDesk control service AD1 plugin. In my phone, it's in more downloaded services. Now open this plugin option and turn on this accessibility. If you face any problem to turn on this service, then make sure to clear your background apps and notifications. Then it should work fine. Now go back to your app again. If you click on this menu icon, you will find this plugin option here and it will work automatically. Now let's see how this app works. Basically, it has two options your address and remote address. If you want to access any device, you should put the AnyDesk address of that device in your remote address option, like this. But you need to understand, this is a very sensitive step. If you share your AnyDesk address with someone, then he will get a full control of access of your device. So you should be careful. Anyways, now click on this arrow icon to start. Now I need to accept this session request to allow this Android phone to get a full control of access of this computer. And this is exactly the same process to remotely connect a computer to computer or a mobile to mobile. You see, as soon as I accept this request, it's showing connected in this mobile and appears this laptop screen here. Also you will get a small menu of settings, input, display, full screen, etc. But you need not to change any settings here, as it will work perfectly by default. Now I am zooming my mobile screen for a better view. And you can see, I am controlling the mouse cursor with my fingertip in the mobile touch screen. Let's open this start menu. 
so the mouse clicking is also working perfectly. Pretty cool, right? It's all good. Now I will show you how you can control your mobile phone from your laptop or computer. And I will also show you how to share files using this connection. And the process is almost same. If your device appears in discover section, just click to establish this remote connection with your mobile phone. Or just type the any disk address in the remote disk section and click on connect. Then you will get a security warning. It's pretty normal as you are giving up full control of access to another device. As I told you before, just don't share your any disk address to someone you can't trust. Now click on accept and accept this incoming request as well. You see the connection is established. Well, let's see if it works properly. Now I am using my laptop mousepad to operate my mobile phone. It's working perfectly and smoothly. Pretty cool, right? Now we will see how to transfer files between two devices. Just click on this start transfer icon on the top menu. Here the left directory from my laptop and the right one from my Android device. And these are the AnyDisk folder address. You can navigate your directories by these arrow signs here. Select the file that you want to transfer and click on upload. And you can see here the file has been transferred successfully. Let's check it in the mobile phone. Well here it is. This is the file we transferred. Well if you face any error like access denied as it is a common issue. Then go to this menu option, click on settings, here click on security, unlock these settings and then enable this unattended access and you are done. It should work perfectly. Well guys, I really hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for being with me and don't forget to subscribe my channel and stay tuned.